Socially, it's very embarrassing, but in business, it's disastrous. <laughs> Welcome to Work Smart. I'm Amber Mack. On today's show, we talked to memory expert Bob Gray about his top five recall strategies. But before we brush up on our memory skills, here's a handy tool to help you keep track of your relationships, both publicly and privately. Business cards are so 2010. If you're looking for a new way to keep track of your relationships, Hashable is worth a try. Once you sign up for a free account, you'll be able to add connections and make introductions. Using keyword tags, you quickly write where you met someone and then send a note to that person via email or Twitter. Within the services dashboard, you can manage your contacts and even export them. Not only will this free tool encourage you to leave your business cards at home, since it keeps track of everyone you met, but you always have a quick way to stay on top of your relationships. Bob Gray is an author, speaker, and memory expert. We caught up with him in his hometown of Toronto. How beneficial can it be if you do remember someone's name in the business world very quickly? It's huge, right? Because it flatters them. It flatters the person and it also it forces them to actually remember you because it's so rare that people are able to remember names that when you do, as I said, it, it, it flatters them and they automatically remember you. I can give you five quick things to help you remember names. Number one is you got to hear the name. Now I know that sounds obvious, but generally we don't. If, especially if we're like introduced to a group of people, there's more things on our mind like, am I going to add anything to this conversation? Are they going to judge me? How's my breath? Right? You don't hear it, nothing's going to help. Number two, most important thing of all is spell the name. Now it doesn't matter if you spell it incorrectly or correctly, but the conscious act of spelling the name forces you to hear it. Right? Number three, if it's, if it's an odd name, make a remark about it, ask the derivation in the background, ask them to spell it, use it once or twice, in, your com in the initial conversation, but don't go crazy. I've, <laughs> I've had people say, I've read that you've got to use the name seven times. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Once or twice, and then use the name when leaving. You know, nice to meet you, Amber. Hope I see you again. Now, those five things, in conjunction with a visual association, you can remember as many people as you wish. Amber would literally be a gem, okay. like an amber, right? And I would associate it maybe with your hair or, 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 or something that stands out. Right now, if I was to meet you, I would take this necklace and where you have this, this, or, or this brooch, I would rip off that brooch and replace it with a big amber gem. It's all businesses, relationships, right? And building relationships, found, foundation is remembering names. And then you can extend it and remember spouse's name, child's names, interests, hobbies, you know, the foundation of all relationships. It's huge and it's not tough. There are literally thousands of different tools that you can use to remember the important things in your day. I went to Twitter to find out which ones you recommend. Geekanoids is a fan of old school pen and paper. Shira likes the Stickies app and digital alarms. Mark remembers what's important with To Do and Basecamp. That's all for today's show. To get more information about our Total Recall episode, go to fastcompany.com/worksmart. Thanks for watching.